Good morning, good people. Your Capuchin brother in Christ, Frank, here in Colorado Springs. This evening, our provincial will formally welcome four men into our postulancy program, Garrett, Javier, Bryce, and Michael. And I have the difficult task of talking to you about the religious symbol they will receive to wear around their neck during the whole year's program, and that is the Tau Cross. Might sound like I'm saying the word tile. What I'm trying to say is the word tau, <laughs> the tau cross, T-A-U. It precedes the cross of the crucifixion, and for this reason it's often called the Old Testament cross. First thought to be promulgated with the prophet Ezekiel, who was told by the angel Gabriel to go forth and seal every faithful person with the cross to protect them from a destruction that was going to happen to a sinful city. Anyone who wore that cross would be protected and, and the, the angels of darkness would move on. And yet they had to sacrifice and commit themselves to the Lord. Because of that, it became a good sign early in the church of crucifixion and of sacrifice and carrying one's own cross, the TAU, the Tau Cross. Tradition holds that in 1215, in the Fourth Lateran Council, Pope Innocent referenced the Tau Cross and the passage from Ezekiel. It's why they believe that St. Francis was present at the Council and that this is when he wholeheartedly embraced the Tau Cross as his symbol. Francis used it in his writings, painted on walls and doors where he stayed, and even used it as his signature. St. Francis would also stretch out his arms with his habit on, brown habit, to show the friars that their habit is also the Tau Cross. He instructed them to not only let the, that serve as a reminder to them, but also as an active symbol for them to be walking crucified lives in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Due to St. Francis' love for the Tau Cross, it was adopted and used by many and associated with the Franciscan community and is worn proudly not only during our postulancy program, but also by the secular Franciscans, or brothers and sisters, as part of that order. As we prepare for this, continue to pray for us. As we continue to pray for you, pray that this upcoming year for our four new postulants will be one that's blessed with God's grace as they carry their crosses and offer up their sacrifices in discernment of where God is calling them, hopefully to us, to remain with us in the Capuchin Order. Blessings, peace, and all good.